Brainy Dose presents The Five Conflict Styles Which is yours? Conflict No matter how you slice it We're all at the center of it at some point It could be with family members Friends People you work with And even complete strangers But have you ever wondered Why certain conflicts flare into a full-on battle While others simply fizzle out? Well the truth is Everyone has their own unique personality We all handle stressful situations differently when it comes to conflict, we tend to default to certain behaviors that reflect our personal style of dealing with it. If you want to handle conflicts more effectively and find mutually beneficial solutions, it's important to understand your own conflict style and recognize the styles of others. So let's dive in and find out where you stand. Number 1. Avoiding Some folks have a strong aversion to conflict and would rather avoid it altogether. They might downplay an issue or pretend it doesn't exist instead of confronting it head on. Now, there are some positives to avoiding conflict. It can keep arguments from happening and help maintain a peaceful relationship. It also gives people time to think about their feelings and come up with a thoughtful response. But there are some downsides too. Avoiding conflict can mean issues don't get resolved and communication suffers, and that can damage relationships. It may also create tension and make people feel uneasy around each other. And let's not forget that avoiding conflict means missing out on the chance to learn and grow from difficult situations. Number two, accommodating. People with the accommodating style tend to be cooperative and willing to compromise to prevent conflicts. On the bright side, accommodating can help maintain relationships by prioritizing the needs and wants of others. It creates a generous and kind atmosphere that contributes to a positive social environment. Plus, being accommodating can help develop a sense of community and teamwork, which is great for group settings. The downside is that accommodating can lead to a lack of assertiveness, often resulting in sacrificing one's own needs and desires. It can also cause frustration and resentment if a person feels that their priorities are constantly ignored. Number 3. Competing Those who display the style have a tendency to prioritize their own needs and goals over that of others. The positive aspect of competing is that it allows people to assert their needs and desires, which is important in certain situations. It can even make one seem more confident. Competing can also encourage personal growth and challenge individuals to push themselves to their limits. On the negative side, when people become overly competitive and focused on winning at all cost, it can create a sense of aggression and hostility. Number four, compromising. When it comes to conflict, some people are all about finding a middle ground. They're flexible and open to compromise. The good thing about compromising is that it creates a sense of fairness and balance and encourages cooperation and communication in order to find a mutually acceptable outcome. But sometimes compromising can be a bit of a bummer. People might feel like they're giving up too much and that can leave them feeling dissatisfied. Plus, when there's too much focus on finding a middle ground, one might forget to stand up for their own needs. Number five, collaborating. Collaborators prioritize finding a solution that works for everyone instead of just focusing on their own needs and wants. Of course, this is often a good thing because it leads to mutual respect and understanding as people work together to find a solution that benefits everyone involved. It can also foster creativity and innovation since it encourages thinking outside the box and considering multiple perspectives. But let's not forget the challenges that come with collaboration. For example, if there's a lack of trust or communication, it can be tough to find that win-win solution. And sometimes, it can be rather time-consuming to come up with the perfect plan. Hopefully, you now have a better understanding of yourself and others when it comes to resolving conflicts. It's important to know what your own style of approach is so that you can make sure your arguments are effective and productive for everyone involved. And even though sometimes your approach might clash with someone else's, that doesn't mean you should throw in the towel. Both sides can work together to find solutions that make everyone feel understood and satisfied. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.